So today I'm going to be taking this typical simple pink magic band that I received for a resort reservation. It's one of the standard ones, it's not one of the special ones by any means. It's pretty simple. I think it needs a little extra special something, so I'm going to be adding some glitter to it today. Okay, so for this project you're going to need some glue. I'm going ahead and starting with a glitter glue so that that little bit of extra sparkle will help. It doesn't hurt. You could use any sort of a decent craft glue that will be drying clear. This is a cheapie that I just got at Walmart. And to that clear glue I'm going to be adding some glitter. I've gone with a pink iridescent. Also some optional little rhinestones. In this case, I have some little AB ones of various sizes. And then you're going to need something to keep your glitter and glue mixture in. In this case, I'm using a small glass bowl that I have lined with some cling wrap just to keep make cleanup a little bit easier. And then of course a sort of medium sized paintbrush, a cheap little craft one will do. Not too big because you are going to have to get into some small spaces, but not so small that it's going to take you forever to get all your coverage. And of course a magic band. In this case today I am using my pink one. It's perfectly fine, I've worn it before, but I feel like it needs that little extra special something. Just squirt some glue into the bowl. There's a fine line between not adding enough glitter so that you have to add a million layers and then adding too much glitter so that it's chunky and hard to work with. Once you've got your glitter all mixed in, you're ready to get started. One thing I found that is if I put too much glitter on the holes where I'm going to be snapping it, then it makes it not as tight as you would like and it might come off sometimes. If you have a larger wrist than I do and you're going to be using one of these over here, probably not a problem because you can just add only to the pink or colored area. I however sometimes have to get into these first couple holes, so I do make sure to do a thinner coat at this end and then get thicker as I go along. Much like with painting your nails, it's better to have several thin coats than one big thick layer. Now, I usually choose to not do the area around the Mickey head. I leave that oval unpainted. You can glitter that. It should still read just fine. I've seen people do all kinds of crazy things to their Mickeys, and they still read and scan just fine. I just like to have that contrast of having the area that's not super sparkly. I also avoid doing the gray around the outer edges, partly again for that contrast and partly so it gives me something to hold on to while I'm working. This little Mickey, sometimes I avoid him, sometimes I go ahead and cover this one up. It really depends up to you, whatever you want to do for your particular band. This is one of the thinnest areas though, so if you are avoiding the Mickey, it can be a little bit hard, so this is part of why you need to have that small brush. Alright, we're going to let the first coat dry. You don't have to let it get completely dry between coats, but it helps if it's at least tacky so that the other layers will start to stick to it a little bit better. So as I said earlier, I'm going to avoid putting too much of the glitter and the glue in these first couple holes just because I know that I'm going to probably be using at least that first one on a regular basis, and I don't want it to get too thick there because then it won't snap and be nice and secure. So I'm going to make sure I get one good coat on the first coat there and then anything I feel like I missed but then after that I'm mostly going to be keeping the glue and the glitter on my second coat further up the band. Now I know I'm only going to be using these bottom couple holes at the most 
So I'm going to go ahead and kind of cover up all the other ones above it, fill them in, just for that extra sparkle and to give a more seamless fitted look to me. By using the colored glitter, I'm not diluting the color of the band. I'm keeping it the pink band because I wanted that. I don't want them to all end up being the same color. I like to match my band to my outfit. Still fairly subtle. You're not going to be a walking disco ball, which I think is a little nice. It's a little classier, but there's definite sparkle happening here. I'm using this turbo tacky glue. Any sort of clear drying craft glue should work just fine. Also, super glue should work. Whatever you have on hand should be just fine. The important part is that it should dry clear. I'm using an AB crystal to tie into the iridescent glitter. So now I can go in with a clean brush and sort of pick out a little of this leftover excess glue. And now we just need to let it dry. And there you have it! As you can see, it's really easy to add a little bit of sparkle and personality to your magic band. Optionally, you could clear coat it with a little bit of spray clear or a little bit of clear nail polish if you wanted, but not necessary unless you really plan on being rough in them and wearing them a lot. And I maybe wouldn't wear them in a water park. I don't usually wear my glitter ones in the water park. Other than that, you're good to go. I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time.